All right, in this video, we're going to look at chain punching, right, uh, from the Wing Chun, I guess the Wing Chun execution. I've said before, and I will say again, that some of the biggest culprits when it comes down to making traditional martial arts look like a joke are so-called martial arts masters, all right? This is true with karate, and it's also true with kung fu. When we talk about Wing Chun, we're talking about from the highest level, some of these so-called masters. I mean, and I, I won't even mention names because people will say, you know, safe, you've lost your mind talking about these people like that. So I won't do that. That's not necessary. But at the very top, at the very top, the so-called best lineages, you will find that many of these masters are responsible for making Wing Chun look like a joke. All right? Now, one of the biggest problems that masters have is they're trying to um, conserve two things, right? One, their ego, and, and two, tradition. And when we're talking about non-Asians, it's usually their ego. But when we're talking about Asians, we're talking about tradition. That's most of the time, that's what they're trying to preserve, right? And then their ego second, all right? That is true with all martial arts styles, and again, it is very true with Wing Chun. So now let's look at this, right? Let's look at this and the practicality of it. One of the things that benefited me most was when I started training in Wing Chun, I had already boxed for about 10 years. So although in the class structure, I had to do what the instructor wanted us to do, when it came down to sparring, obviously he wasn't going to stop every sparring match and say, well, you know, Safe, I don't think you're doing this right, or this is not what I meant for you to do in sparring, Safe. So he would let things go. And I was able to execute the techniques the way I believe they were meant to be executed. And if they weren't meant to be executed that way, at least the way they should be executed. And what I'm going to show you here is the practicality of this kind of punching. Now, this is ridiculous. We can agree on that. This is ridiculous, as is this. That's ridiculous, foolish, all right? There aren't many things that I've seen that make me want to throw up more than seeing people try to fight from a traditional Wing Chun position, right, and throw chain punches like this. However, Let's look at what chain punching is. Chain punching is cycling. It's cycling your punch. Anything that you were doing over, 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 and over is cycling. So this is cycling. This is cycling, okay? This is cycling. So there is practicality in doing this, but why is it viable? Why is it functional? Why? Because when you're throwing a punch, and you're punching by drawing your punch back, or you're throwing two punches, and each time you throw a punch, you're drawing your arm back, this is what you get. One, two. If you don't bring it all the way back, but you cycle it in, or you roll it in, it actually is faster. It's actually faster, and from a combative, from a combative view, viewpoint, right? From a combative a way of looking at it, it can be even more functional. So as opposed to going at doing this, but doing this. One, throwing the punch, cycling, and coming back. Rather than one, two. So what you end up getting is, when you are punching, instead of doing this, one, two, you're actually going this way. So let's say you were in a situation and you had to preemptively throw a punch. The first punch would be ultimately carry, would ultimately carry most of the power, right? So the first punch would go one, okay? But rather than throw two in this way, throw, throw two from the same hand and go one, and then and back, you would just go one, and then cycle it. So you, rather than this, you're getting this. So there is a practicality in it. It is faster. If you use your lower extremities, it's just as powerful because you're going one. 
with the cycle then, you turn it. One, two. One, two. One, two. Rather than one, and then back, and then out again. Now, where did you see that? You have seen that. And you have seen this cycling type of motion in Western boxing. You saw it in Western boxing. Now, maybe you didn't see it yourself, but it is part of Western boxing. And particularly, pugilism. Pugilism, old school pugilism. I'll show you. These kind of, this kind of stance, this kind of stance, when people will move around like this, this was for a reason. It was for a reason. You weren't simply just moving around like that, but you were preparing to throw a punch in what kind of motion? In a cycling motion. The jab in pugilism was not this and back. The jab in old school pugilism was here. One and cycle. That was a jab in old school pugilism. Eventually, some of the more stylish fighters, like Jack Johnson, brought their hands from here and brought it down. So they would move this way. Okay? And what you would have is the same structure, cycling. The jab would cycle this way. One, roll, and come back. Out, roll, and come back. So from here, this was your jab. From here, this was your jab. From here, this was your jab. It wasn't out and back. It was one cycle and back. From a lower guard, you were here. This was your jab. Cycle and back. Cycle and back. So the whole idea of chain punching is nothing more than cycling. That's what it is. When you get these masters going overboard and hanging on to, to, to a tradition and saying, you know, oh, well, you know, do it this way and do it that way, they have no one to blame but themselves when their art looks ridiculous and when people say it is ridiculous. What this actually is is cycling your punch and it is valuable. It is valuable and it's functional, even in a combative sense. Again, where did you see it? Where was it done in Western martial arts? It was done in old pugilism. Old pugilism boxers would not throw their jab and come back. They would cycle it. One, roll and come back. Jab, roll and come back. From a lower guard, the same thing. They would roll, jab, and roll. So this was a jab from a lower guard. From here, two. 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 More traditional, one. Two. Two. That's what it is. It's simply cycling your punch in. Not doing this, not doing this, this, or this, but simply rolling your punch in. From here, they did it. From here, they did it. And from here, modern day, you can do it, okay? Just simply rolling your punch in rather than bringing it back to chamber. All right? Save Carmen, Puma Fight Cap, Brick City Combatives. See you next video.